Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Glenn Richards here in Studio B. Going to do a little update here on the uh, tropics. If you've got any questions for me, please pass them along. I'll be happy, happy to answer them for you. So, again, uh, storm isn't over yet, but, uh, again, that is Hurricane Matthew right now working its way from south to north, uh, a little bit to the north and northwest. What's interesting, again, about this is, again, you should take a look at it earlier. My hand. There we go. Uh, if you take a look at it right there, working its way up towards the north and a little bit to the north and west, we're still looking at some uh, big feeder bands uh, still, again, hitting the coastline right there out across Flagler County up into St. John's County, so they continue to get hit pretty hard. So, again, that will continue now. The good news is you get back into Metro Orlando, the winds are now out of the west, so some drier air is definitely starting to move in, and again, that drier air is going to help us out with clearing out for tonight. If you're hoping for some sunshine, just don't think it's going to happen. Woo, there we are. That's, that's Florida. <laughs> we are stuck in, again, the, uh, in, in the junk. So we've got a lot of clouds. You see the winds right now across the state blowing around west-southwest. Well, we had a high tide at noon today. Kind of see that first high tide right there. And then we got another high tide coming up later on tonight, uh, right about midnight or a little after midnight tonight. Uh, there's the water vapor imagery, again, showing the center of uh, Matthew moving to the north. And again, what's interesting, again, we've got this trough out to our west, and that is helping to uh, bring things up. See, so you got some questions here coming in uh, from Linda asking about power in Geneva. Uh, I know the winds are still too strong in Geneva, so crews are not even out yet. Uh, so up in Geneva, you will get some improving conditions soon uh, as far as the weather goes, and that should allow crews to get out later on this evening. So that's the way it's shaping up right now. now again, the current wind speeds, you can see they're uh, still pretty strong, blowing around 25 to 35. Uh, you need to get the winds down a little bit. The win winds need to get down to around 30 miles per hour, uh, again, for us to get um, the crews out there working. Again, the computer model, you can see 8 o'clock shows the system is gone. Uh, but you can see, again, the current location. It's currently sitting right there uh, to the north of Daytona. So, uh, see, Pamela is saying still pretty windy out there in Clearwater. Uh, yeah, even on the west coast, uh, again, you can see the winds blowing right around uh, 20 miles an hour. So again, all that air is rushing in to fill the center of Hurricane Matthew. Deltona here, lots of rain and wind still. Yeah, it's still coming down. You're up in Volusia County there, so you're still getting quite a bit. Uh, Orange City, no power. Yep, I know. The, uh, there's quite a few uh, across Seminole, Volusia County. Uh, and right now the power outages are just starting up in Jacksonville. Look at Jacksonville. They're just getting hit hard. Uh, see, uh, up in, I was wondering about that. Uh, that's Ashley. Up in Ocala, no power up in the Ocala area. So we, ex we expected that to be the case. Uh, see, Adisa's driving from Boston. So uh, make sure you keep an eye on the road. But um, yeah, hopefully by the time you get down here, most of this rain will be offshore for you. So you right down. will not be too wet. Um, Zaidi's asking, saying, uh, thanks for the hard work. Um, that's right. You're, you are welcome. Uh, but yes, people should not go out. You are correct. Uh, see some about Daytona Beachside. No power in Bellevue. They got power in Eustis. Good. It's good to hear that at least some of us have got power out there. Groveland still has a lot of wind and rain. Yeah, it's still coming down in Groveland. You can see what's up to your north and west. Uh, yeah, Jacksonville's getting walloped right now. Look at those sustained wind. Those are sustained around 35. And uh, again, it looks like they'll be getting wind gusts up to about 70, 75. The good news here, though, you can see how the coastline. Um, moves away a little bit. So again, there's the coastline going back. And look at the center. They're moving north. So the center will get a little farther away from Jacksonville, but they're still getting walloped pretty good. Uh, no, about, no doubt about it. Orlando has lifted the curfew. You know, I haven't heard that if they had. I thought the curfew went until 7 a.m. tomorrow, uh, but maybe they're going to lift it early. But uh, I have not. See, Julie says, yes, you can. The pain is lifted. Okay, I, I will check that out. Um, see, not much action. Ocala, kind of disappointed. Yeah, you know, Ocala, you were just far enough west. You know, sorry about that. But, you know, it's a good thing, though, for you. Uh, you know, you didn't, you, I mean, I know for me, I don't have power at my house. I live out in Seminole County, uh, east of, uh, northeast of Orlando. And uh, I'm not looking forward to having no power when I go home tonight. <laughs> no air conditioning for maybe another day or two. So we'll see what happens. But, um, see, is Nicole going to be a problem for us? No, Nicole won't. Uh, Nicole Coal is too far away and it's going to weaken, so we're going to be fine with that. Um, see, Robin's saying they're still waiting up in Georgia. Well, it's coming. 
Uh, and again, I was listening to the uh, hurricane folks, and just based on our models, models too, uh, the center will actually move very close to the shoreline there up towards Savannah. So it should be, should be pretty rough. Uh, when they will restore power. Um, I saw somebody asking about when they're going to... I haven't heard anything about when they're going to restore power, and I know a lot of folks, including myself, are wanting it. I just know it all is going to hinge... Um, it's going to... I see about high 95 in Port Orange. Uh, it's going to hinge on the wind. As soon as the winds are down enough, the crews will go out. I-95, I haven't heard anything with regards to it. Uh, again, I'm on the weather side of it. That's a little bit... I hate to say it, but a little bit more on the news side. And I haven't heard anything about I-95. I know, but there's no way I'd be driving up and down the area of the Jacksonville area right now, which is way too windy. And uh, those are sustained winds. And, um, oh, see, Cambria saying the curfew was lifted at 2. two good. Okay, that's awesome. So it looks like some, I'm hearing some facts there now, um, as, a hope, as opposed to maybe what was I thought was wishful thinking. But <laughs> so that's good. I am noticing more cars on I-4. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, is uh, KSC Visitor Center going to open tomorrow? Hmm. You know, I'll check into that. I'll have them broadcast that on the news. I'll, I'll pass that information along. It's about the, uh, about the Visitor Center. I know there was some talk about it opening up on Saturday, and that is tomorrow. So um, hopefully they will, but it might, they might. They got hit hard. Again, they had 107 mile per hour winds uh, near the Cape, just. Uh, you know, a couple miles off or a mile away from them. That was it. Um, you see, is KFC open? <laughs> you know, I don't know. It might be. Um, I like their I like their extra crispy though. Um, still get uh, wind gusts of uh, southeast of in Ocala. Uh, that's from Paula. Uh, yeah, again, it's 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 gusty out. You know, north of Orlando, up in Ocala, Gainesville, Palatka. Uh, again, you can see the area where the wind is still strong the spiral bands are coming through and uh, it's raining it's still pretty good see carol saying no power in south daytona but you're safe praise god no doubt it so i'm glad you are healthy that is the most important thing we can always deal with a little inconvenience i guess for a while of you know a change in our life and maybe not having power for a while but uh, you don't you don't want anybody to be hurt um power is on excellent in wedgefield that's that's not too far from me i'm up in chuliota so that's good to hear out in wedgefield out in east orange county uh, sound keeps breaking up. I'm sorry. Um, how bad is Stark? Haven't heard anything about Stark. Sorry about that. Can't help you. Uh, Flagler Beach. I have heard that Flagler Beach um, did get winds, and I saw that they had winds up to 70 miles per hour, and I know their beach erosion, they said, was, was extremely bad. So that's all I heard about the Flagler Beach area. Uh, so yeah, all's good in Wedgefield. Great to see. Uh, Max wins in Melbourne. I didn't see an official. I uh, see the highest I saw in Melbourne was 84 miles per hour. That's the highest uh, that we did see for a wind gust, not sustained. Let's see, oh yeah, no part, no sensing, no power up in Ocala. Transformer blue. Uh, doesn't surprise me. This morning I was actually sleeping in my car <laughs> out here at the station in the back and um, noticed some flashes and that unfortunately was, uh, I knew that was uh, transformers blowing. So, um, you know, that, that, that's, that, ends up, that ends up being the case. Will the storm loop back around and hit us again? It will come, it will, will not hit us. It may actually come back as a weak tropical storm. It hits South Florida, uh, but we'll see. Um, see, there's uh, Crystal saying, or Asia saying, DeLand still has crazy winds. Yeah, it's very windy again up in Volusia County still. You're right on that west edge. And that's one thing we did see uh, that, again, even on the south end, right here on the southern end of it, see where all these winds are all kind of coming together? That south end, the winds go back up to about 30 miles per hour. So that's what you're getting right now in DeLand. Um, you got about, you got another big, another big band coming. Kind of see it. Where's that? Right here. This next band is coming towards you, so you'll have some more wind here uh, for the next half hour into land in Deltona. Then it'll ease up. How long do you think the storm will last around Gainesville? Well, let's take a look. Um, the heaviest rain is just east of Gainesville. You can see Gainesville's right here. And look at that heavy rain just to your east. But this is moving towards you. So I'm going to say at least another two more hours. Um, and that was our estimate, too. So that would bring you up until about uh, 6 o'clock or so. Um, haven't heard anything about when they're going to open anything up beachside. We just, uh, Daryl Nail, our one reporter, he was out at Cocoa Beach 
driving around and he because he would be in media so he was able to shoot us uh, live video as he drove around the streets around uh, coconuts up and down a1a and there's power lines down everywhere so um basically what they're going to have to do is wait for the crews to get those power lines back up before they open it up because they just don't want anybody to get hurt so uh, i'm going to say at least um I, it may be a day uh, before they do. I, I don't know on that. It just depends on the amount of damage uh, in any situation. Uh, more wind on the way for Ocala. Uh, yes, there is some more wind on the way for Ocala. Again, that next batch just to your north of you right here. Watch this next batch. It's up here coming down. It's just going to graze you. So especially if you're buys, uh, you're going to get a little bit more. You're welcome, Kenya. Um, uh, we're going to get hit again from this hurricane. No, and again, I don't think we're going to get hit again. How much longer for Orlando? You're done. In Orlando, uh, just a few little sprinkles, uh, and it's a done deal. So uh, I would give you another, you know, maybe a half hour to an hour in Metro Orlando. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, I enjoy doing the, the updates here, Cindy. Um, see what else any chance of it coming back around no it's uh, it, it could come back around and hit south florida but again we're not expecting it right now to be up this way again it'll be close but and it won't be that strong it'll just be a very weak uh, swirl uh no power deltona rain still very windy yeah it's, it's gonna be a while for deltona delta volusia county hit pretty hard in flagler county uh by this so again quite a bit so uh again it's a uh you know it's one of those deals where we were Bullet. It could have been much, much, much more extreme, uh, but thank goodness it ended up being strong, but not extreme. That's what we were afraid of. 